good morning everybody yeah i'm eating already and we're only 15 minutes into this ride you know it's gonna be a big day so i've got the big five on the cards today with some vo2 max efforts thrown in as well fairly early on so that i can do them when i'm relatively fresh i'm also planning on getting in a lot of climbing today as well being that some of my events i'm aiming for will require to get over some massive mountains although we don't have that here I can still join up a lot of climbs to get about two and a half thousand meters of climbing today, I hope. So this might actually be the last ride on this bike. Lots of memories on it, lots of miles, lots of miles on it. <laughs> it served me very well. I've been with to 4C. I've been with to 4C bikes for a couple of years, maybe one or two years officially but I did ride that super lightweight Mons frame to the win when I won the British Hill Climb Championships in uh, 2019 it feels only fitting that we do a hard session today to end our little bond I have to say I will always be grateful for the opportunity that they provided me given that I was coming out or choosing to come out of that professional cycling sort of team environment and trying to go solo and they gave me the opportunity you know they 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 provided me with equipment and you know it's it allowed me to do some of the things i wanted to do and now this channel's been growing i've been i've been doing my best to try and keep up with it and and to try and help people as well and not just provide you with like inspiration or tips or anything but to also try and accomplish things myself. And, you know, this, this, this next step in the journey is, uh, is, is hopefully gonna help keep that ball rolling in many different ways. I'm still getting used to this mouth mouth. There's just saliva everywhere. <laughs> How do you do it, kid? Okay, so I've reached the bottom. I've done two reps, five to go. So a total of seven VO2 max efforts. Uh, two minutes on, three minutes off. I'm not really aiming for a power target. This is my first time doing this session this season. So I'm kind of more pacing it off a of feel. I'm definitely like gasping at the end, which kind of means I'm doing it properly. Um, the gradient of the climb is not the same the whole way. So I have to get in and out the saddle a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, so far it's going well. I'll check in with you in a bit. Let me get these done. Well, I could really tell I was flagging there towards the end. I didn't need, didn't need power, didn't need anything to tell me. I just knew because I was, I was covering less and less distance up that hill. I'll tell you something, it makes heck of a difference. Like I'm doing these efforts in March for good reason, but like if I was in Mallorca or if I was in like anywhere now where I wouldn't have to wear gloves or tights or anything like that it would feel so much better doing these efforts but I've got them done they weren't too bad most of those efforts were over target power I did give myself a range like I give most people a range if you're ever to do these sort of indoors yeah, two minutes for a view to accident well is fairly short and it's why you've got to keep your recoveries fairly short as well but what i would say is even though i was over my target power that's not a bad thing my target power was 380 to 410 which is for me about 125 percent fdp i think my math ain't that good so part two of today's ride that's part one, those efforts. Part two is to try and climb two and a half thousand meters to have this whole ride. So because those were hill reps, I've got 766 meters on the clock so far. So I'm going to throw in some big climbs from now on and see if I can get close to that two and a half thousand meters. That's the first time that's happened. 
little trick there for most of you if your chain ever drops off like that from the big ring all the way down onto the frame just pedal ever so slightly keep the cranks turning very slowly and gently push your lever so you go push it back into the big ring and hopefully it'll catch I'm having a gel now 30 grams of carbs straight after those intervals to uh, to get the fast absorbing carbohydrates in from Sturka and then we'll be on bars for the rest of it that's one of the very few descents in this area where you don't have to try to hit 75 kilometers an hour it just happens you definitely have to get your line right though that final left hand corner out of the village there's a drain on the inside you don't want to be thrown out onto the other side of the road if you hit that drain so because i've got big travel days uh tuesday well tuesday afternoon and all of wednesday potentially well I certainly won't be riding on wednesday i've had to structure my week accordingly front loading it i wouldn't usually ride this much on a monday only because usually i tend to have fairly big weekend but it does mean because my duathlon is this week on sunday move stuff around and therefore include a bit of intensity today steady ride tomorrow for traveling thursday a steady ride and then i'm not really decided what i'm gonna do friday saturday yet uh because i realized that the duathlon day is gonna be quite a hectic day because not only am I doing that, but then in the afternoon I'm gonna have to pack the bike and everything up to fly to Girona on Monday. So yeah, it's gonna be a busy period. So I wanna try and get something decent in either Friday or Saturday prior to the duathlon. As you can probably tell, I'm not in the flat. I'm in an Airbnb. And I have traveled all the way across the country because tomorrow, I'm getting my bike fit and I might be picking up my new bike. It seems like, it probably feels like quite late in the year to be talking contracts. Uh, it is March and usually things are, you know, set in stone really by January and the contracts usually last like for 12 months. Um, so the contract effectively ended with Tifosi, my, my, my old bike partner um at the end of december i started uh sending some emails making some phone calls and uh seeing if there was um any other avenues to explore so tomorrow we are talking a little bit about contract negotiations things aren't like fully like signed sealed and delivered yet um but we are like pretty much there so that's gonna wrap up today's video um the next couple of videos, I don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know when I'm gonna actually make like tomorrow official. Um, no doubt we'll talk about that. But I wanna thank you again so much for watching. I'm gonna have some food now and I'm gonna look forward to tomorrow. So that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.